Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial on an exciting new tool which we have just released on the web app for virtualracingschool.com. We have essentially linked together data pack telemetry with a video and a brand new interface allowing for a clearer and more relatable use of the telemetry charts and tools on VRS. To quickly demonstrate this I will view the current session data available from one of our regular clients by selecting driver stats over here on the left and I've previously selected his name from the drop down menu. Um, so here we can see a list of his sessions that he's driven most recently. Uh, next I will select to view sessions from the car and track combination for which we have provided a data pack. So in this case this is the Le Mans combination for the GT1 series with the Aston Martin. Then I will click on the fastest session for which has been driven in the same weather conditions as the data pack. So that's this top one right here. Finally I will wait for a new section to load on the session page which is called Opportunities. This summarizes sectors where the client has the biggest opportunity to gain time when compared to what they've already driven in that session. In addition, for when a data pack with attached video is available, the middle column will show a playback icon for video reference. I shall select sector 14 where I can see an opportunity for nearly 9 tenths of a second to be found. The video begins playing immediately and I can immediately see the telemetry charts in sync for sector 14. The blue trace is the coach data whilst the purple trace is the client data. So if we just pause it here, at the top I can see the individual auto-generated sectors which are of course selectable and I can also select the full lap by scrolling over to the left full track with a total time difference of nearly 4 seconds between the data pack and client lap. So the lap in focus is the data pack lap because this is showing what the client should be aiming for. To the far right I can select between the video display and the racing line. So if I click this it will show the racing line. And we can zoom in here and we can take it through and see the difference between the two racing lines. Below this we can see the driver inputs, the steering, the clutch, the brake, throttle, gear selections. And then we have three charts on display which have been chosen as the most useful ones for analysis. Which all show the telemetry output for that specific channel through the duration of the sector that you have selected. So on the top right here we have the speed chart which is switchable between the delta and the series. On the bottom left we have the braking trace and on the bottom right we have the throttle trace. Okay so if we do some analysis here on the final sector we can immediately see that the coach is carrying far more speed uh, on the entry to the Ford chicane and then through the first half. Uh, so if we go back we can see why in the brake trace the client is braking significantly earlier than the coach um, and obviously slows the car down more if we look at the top right and then further on down the way the client brakes again whilst the coach barely touches the brake and as a result through the second half of the first Ford chicane uh, the, the apex speed is even slower. So if we just double check the racing lines and we zoom in. So if we just take it through we can see that although the client brakes earlier they actually turn in later and as a result they are wider at the first apex than the coach and then if we take it through what that means is through the second apex, the second half of the chicane, they are forced to carry a much tighter radius as a result of being pinched on the entry. So you can see the tighter radius through the second half of the chicane here. If we then reselect the video and we take it through, we can see that on the entry to the final chicane, the coach is breaking much more than the client. And as a result, if we take it through through the first half of the final chicane, the coach is actually carrying less speed than the client. This then compromises the final half of the chicane as the client has to get onto the brakes whilst the coach is able to get back on the power and therefore carry a much higher speed through the latter half. And eventually this culminates into a higher exit speed down the start finish straight and across the line. So that was just a quick overview of the new video analyzer on virtualracingschool.com. 
which we hope you will find to be a useful and more visual tool for analysing your driving against a data pack driven by one of our coaches from the likes of Coanda Sim Sport and Team Redline, whom of course you can as ever book one-to-one -one tuition with at any time. The tool is very much still in development, so do feel free to post any questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.